All right, class. Your assignment today is to add up all the numbers from 1 to 100. So you go ahead and do that, and I think I'll just go take a nap. Does that sound all right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but that sounds like a lot of work to add up all those numbers. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. You know, you could do it. It's not difficult mathematically, it's just a lot of work, a lot of number crunching. But according to this, a story, Carl Friedrich Gauss, this, this was an assignment given to Carl Friedrich Gauss back when he was a boy. Now Carl Friedrich Gauss grew up to be a famous mathematician back in the 1800s and um, uh, what he did, what, well, the, the teacher gave this assignment to him and because uh, I suppose he was tired uh, one day and he thought he could get some rest if he kept the kids busy by adding up all these numbers. So um, he gave them this assignment and thought he could go rest, but Carl Friedrich Gauss um, came up within just a few uh, seconds or minutes with the answer. So the question is, how did he do it? So um, what, what Carl Friedrich Gauss noticed was that um, if you look at the first number, ooh, I better pick up a pen. If you look at the first pe first number and uh, the last number and add them together, you get 101. If you look at the second number and the second to the last number, you get 101. If you add the third number and the third to the last number, you get 101. So what he noticed is that you can create 50 pairs of of numbers that add to 101. So what he did was take um, 101 times 50 and he got the answer. 50, 50. Isn't that clever? That's pretty cool. And we can use tho that uh, that uh, his, you know, his logic to solve some problems today. So um, I also want to show you another way to look at this. If we were to call S the sum of these numbers, so we'll call it 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 99 plus 100. Okay? And if we were to write that same sum, S, in reverse order, 101 plus 99 plus 98 plus dot 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 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, that's the same thing as as up here. All we've done is written in a re written it in reverse order. So we haven't changed the sum because it doesn't matter what order you add things in because um, addition is commutative. Um, so this s and this s will be the same, okay? And so if we add both of these together and we just add down the columns, we get 101 plus 101 plus 101 plus dot 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 plus 101 plus 101. And so we've added two of the sums together, so this sum down here will actually be equal to 2 times s, okay? And this 2 times s, which is the sum of all these 101s, now we've got 100 numbers in this list, so we've added what we, what we're, what we would do if we added this is add uh, 101 100 times. So this is going to be equal to 101 times 100, okay? But that's 2s. And um, if we want to know the sum of one of these s's, we just divide both sides by 2, so s is equal to 101 times 100 all over 2, which is 
we could just divide the two into the 100 and we would get 101 times 50 just like we got up here. So we're going to get the same answer, which is a good thing, 50-50, okay? That's just another way to look at it. Um, so let's see if we can use that information to do some more problems. Let me scroll down here. Let's take a look at this example. Um, what is the sum of the numbers in this list? 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 35. Okay. Now we can look at this just like we did before. If we add 7 plus 35, we get 42. If we add 8 plus 34, we get 42. And this number would be 33. The number prior to 34 would be 33. And if we add 9 to 33, we get 42. So again, we're going to get something that is a sum of a bunch of 42s. So how many 42s do we have to add? Well, um, if we need to know how many numbers are in this list. And if you watched my video on counting lists of numbers, you know how to figure that out. So we have a list of numbers. We have 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 35. Okay? And you notice that these are just counting numbers, so the difference between consecutive numbers is just 1. So we're adding 1 each time to get the next number. So really all we need to do is shift this set of numbers into something that's easier to count. So if we subtract 6 from all these numbers, we would get 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 29. So we have 29 numbers in this list. So um, in the list that Carl Friedrich Gauss um, counted, he had 100 numbers. So it's really easy to take half and, and recognize that you're going to get 50 pairs. In this in this case, we've got an odd number. So we're going to get 14 pairs plus one number left over. Whatever number is in the middle will be left over. So um, it's not quite as straightforward, but let's do this. Let's do the um, let's do this me method. The sum is equal to seven plus eight plus nine plus dot 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 all the way up to oops. I don't want a comma. I want a uh, plus 35. Okay? And we could write that sum in the reverse order and we would have 35 plus 34 plus 33 plus dot 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 plus 1. Okay? Same sum, just a different order. So we can add those up. We get 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus dot 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 all the way up to 42 <laughs> and that is going to be 2s. Alright, so 2s is 42 um, added together how many times? We've got 29 numbers in this list so this sum is equal to 42 times 29. All right, and S then will be equal to 42 times 29 all over 2. And if we do that, we should get 609 is our answer. All right, so Basically, what we've done here, and this holds in the general case for any arithmetic series. Now, again, um, I'm going to refer back to my counting list of numbers. I told you what an arithmetic series is, but an arithmetic series is just any series where the difference between consecutive numbers is a constant. Okay, so here you've got the difference between consecutive numbers is just one. Okay. And um, so that means that any number in the list is the first number plus some multiple of 1, okay? 
I don't know if that in this case you know one is these are just counting numbers so that, um, it's not quite an, um, it's, it's pretty easy to see but um, in general for any arithmetic series for any arithmetic series um, the sum of the numbers is equal to the first number plus the last number times the number of numbers okay in this case it was 29 and divide that whole thing by 2 and that holds for any arithmetic series okay so if you get a problem like this where you have to add a, add a bunch of numbers in a, in a series then um, look at the look at the space between the numbers and if it's constant then you can just um, use this to figure out what the sum is okay so I'm gonna put a little box around it because that's an, this is an important thing to remember all right and it doesn't have to necessarily be the first number and the last number because really the second number and the second to the last number and the third number and the third to the last number they all give you the same sum but it usually when you're given a series like this you know the first number and you know the last number so um, so that just is con a convenient way um, to show it, okay? And if you know how to figure out the number of numbers, which again I I, um, I gave you some, uh, I g there's a lesson on counting lists of numbers that that should help you um, if you have trouble with that. So let's use that some more and um, do some more problems, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down. I'll leave that up there so we can refer back to it. All right, so here we have another list of numbers. Now, this one looks a little different because it starts with a negative, um, but that's no problem. That's no problem at all because you can notice that if we add the first number and the last number, we get 60. If we add the second number and the second to the last number, we get 60. Negative 10 plus 70 would be 60, okay? And you can see that we get the consecutive numbers by just adding one each time, right? So it's an arithmetic series. So all we need to do to find the sum is take the first number, which is negative 12, plus the last number, 72, times the number of numbers. Okay, we got to figure that out. So let's pause here and, and figure figure that one out. So, um, now the space between the numbers is just one again, so we it's, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to rewrite this list. Negative 10 all the way up to 72. So you can see if we just add 13 to all these numbers, we would get 1, 2, 3, and um, all the way up to, what does that give you, um, 85, right? Okay, so 85 is our number of numbers. So let's go back to this formula. We need to take this times 85 and divide it by 2. All right, and when you do that, you get um, 60 times 85 all over 2 which is 30 times 85 and if you calculate that you get 2550 alright and there's our answer pretty cool huh? pretty slick makes it a uh, lot easier to do these problems so you'll, uh, you'll learn this trick and people will think you're magic <laughs> to be able to, li to add lists of numbers so quickly. Alright, look for part two for the rest of this lesson.